Hi friends, I'm Mr. GMB and today I'm gonna talk about top 5 Indian movies which were a remake of South Korean movies. Remaking movies in India is not a new thing. We love remaking movies so much that we remake films from all the industries out there. Not just Hollywood, South Korean, all the industry out there. <laughs> and sometimes we remake our own films in the same industry in the same state, in the same language and sometimes we even forget which one was the original. Director like Moisuri has made a career out of remaking Korean movies and is selling them as the original film. Some of his best films like 8 Villain, Murder 2, Aurapan is a remake of a South Korean cult films like I Saw a Devil, Chaser and Better Sweet Life. And I think the next video is gonna be about him, I think so, maybe not. And I think he deserves a video of his own for remaking Korean movies. And this is my list of top 5 Indian movies which were a remake of South Korean movies. At number 5 we have TE3N. TE3N is a cut to cut remake of my favorite South Korean movie known as Montage. I watched Montage as a kid and I was just blown away by story, by plot and the last plot. Oh my god, it just gave me goosebumps. And the performance of the lead actress, it was just awesome. So when I decided to watch TE3N, I thought I was watching an original film because it had that good cast. It has a talented actor like Nawazuddin Siddiqui working with a legend like Amitabh Bachchan for the first time. But I was just disappointed because it's a cut to cut remake of a South Korean movie with no originality. It was so boring that I was just begging for them to change few plot because they can do it, they can always do it. Even if they copy the film, they don't always have to copy the entire film. They can change few plot but no, it's a cut to cut remake of a South Korean movie with no originality. No wonder why this movie was a flop but I think it's a good thing that they actually bought the right of this film which was really nice but it's not good as the original it cannot be compared with the original because montage is one of those rare thrillers which is treated as the one of the best thrillers from south korea and south korea is known as the country which provides the best thriller out there and it is their best thriller so it is basically one of those thrillers that you have to see it before you die At number 4 we have Adli or Padli. This movie is an unofficial, uncredited remake of my favorite childhood Korean rom com film known as My Sassy Girl. My Sassy Girl is a tall film. It is one of the highest grossing films from South Korea. It is one of the best films. The role of Cha Tae Hyun and my sassy girl G. G. Yoon is just irreplaceable. Even Hollywood tried to remake this film, but they just cannot match the status of the original. It is just one of those good movies which will always gonna make you laugh, always gonna make you happy, always gonna make you try, and always gonna make you feel good. It's basically like South Korea's Jobby Mate. Its story is kinda different, but what I'm basically trying to say is that it is basically one of those film which will always gonna put a smile on your face and Adli or Padli is an unofficial uncredited remake of my sassy girl. The director made this movie without doing any credit or a recognition to the original because it's Bollywood and it was an indie Bollywood film so I can see why they were able to pull it off and Adli or Padli is just an average Bollywood rom com can be watchable not that bad it is enjoyable Ranveer Shori did a OK job but I would have enjoyed this movie more if the narration done by him in this movie was written good because it is just awfully written. One of the biggest reasons why I love my sassy girl is because of the narration. The narration done by Chati Hyu is just awesome. I can just easily relate to him. I can see myself in him. <laughs> That's how good narration is written. But in this movie, narration is just bad, so that's why I did not enjoy this movie that much. Because in South Korean movie, it was just perfect. Perfect! And 
I think the narration in My Sicilian is more funny than some of the jokes in that film because that's how good it is and in in Bollywood film they just basically ruin that and in this film I think Malika Sharao did a really good job she cannot match the swag of My Sicilian Jijun but she did a really good job that's the thing which I learned from this movie Korean humor always works in South Korea but when you do it in India it's kinda outward. This film is a scene to scene remake of South Korean film. So some Korean jokes work, some just doesn't and some are just done really bad. It does have few original scenes but they are not that funny. This scene they copy pasted it from my Cecilal are the funny one. And movie just ruined my Cecilal for me. Because of the lot of scenes, they did not do it properly. The breakup scene, the staircase scene. They just don't carry the same emotion like it did in my Cecil because they are just done really bad. They copied the train breakup scene of my Cecil and they did not do it properly. Instead of train, they did it on a boat and it was just awful. Early and Puddly is just an average Bollywood rom town and my Cecil is one of the best films from South Korea. Hope you watch my Cecil with subtitles Sunday. At number 3 we have Bharat When it was announced that Salman Khan is gonna do a remake of my favorite South Korean movie I was just so excited because doesn't matter how many times people say that Salman can act, he couldn't act, you know he's just a bad actor, he's just getting away with his body <laughs> but people just forget that he has done 12 films like Tere Naam, Bajranji Bhajan Sultan and my favorite Musse Shadi Karuji. From Surat Bhajatya family movies to the violent action movies like Wanted, Daban, Etta Tidal, he has done it all. He wouldn't be one of the top stars of this industry if he couldn't act. It's just that when he has an average trip in his hand, he just doesn't try. Just that simple. But when he has a good strip in his hand and a good director, he can work his ass off. Just look at the work he has done with Kabir Khan. And finally, he has a good strip. And casting of this movie was just really good. Renda Chopra as a lead. Sunil Gore as his best friend. Sachin Arora as the brother. And Jackie Shroff as the father. It was just good casting. But Priyanka what ordered this film because of her wedding. And Katrina came in. At that time, it felt like a bad decision for such a great role, but she proved everyone wrong by finally acting good in this film. <laughs> but Bharat is a terribly executed film. Here's the thing which Bharat has taught me. Sometimes you don't always have to write a original scene. <laughs> sometimes you can just copy the entire film because sometimes it just works globally. But in this movie, they added a original scene and they did not do a proper remake and it just didn't work because in Bharat because it's a Salman Khan film they made a late character heroic they turned this relatable guy to a superhero by adding unnecessary action scene unnecessary storyline and dumb plots like terrorists aren't gonna kill you because they love Bollywood they listen to Bollywood music and they are not gonna kill you because they love India which was really stupid by the way and I was just excited for Sachin Arora the titly actor he was finally gonna do a bit in this film but because it's a Solman Bhai film they started lots of his scenes in this film <laughs> and solely focus on Bhai Jan because in the South Korean film his brother has at least 10 minutes scene but in this movie they solely focus on Bhai Jan and just look at the any poster of this film I know it's a film poster it was supposed to be a family film but no it's all about Bhaijan and they miss out the most important point of Ode to My Father Ode to My Father was never a heroic story it was a story of a common man who lives a common life and he pushes himself to the limit to provide for his family and carrying his father out like a common man that's why we can relate to him. 
that's why he feel real to us that's why this movie was so successful in south korea and globally but what you have just made is a heroic garbage with lot of money and lot of talent going to a waste at number 2 we have oh my ghost oh my ghost is a marathi film which was supposed to release 2 years ago but it not had a proper release as yet and i don't know if this movie was released or not but when i saw the trailer of this film the first thing that came to my mind is it's a remake it's a remake of a south korean film known as hello ghost and this film is a unofficial uncredited remake of a south korean film known as hello ghost let me tell you the plot of hello ghost so you can decide whether it's a remake or not and i think you should also check the trailer of this film so it's easy for you to decide whether it's a remake or not let me tell you the story of hello ghost hello ghost tells the story of a suicidal lonely man he's really depressed and he lives a lonely life with no family member no purpose in his life no one caring whether he is dead or alive and then he start committing suicide but after constant failure in his suicide attempt he thinks i cannot do anything i'm such a loser that i can not do even a suicide properly and after his last suicide attempt he starts seeing ghosts and only he can see them no one can and thus goes follows him around and he has to carry them on his shoulder which was really funny and thus goes also uses his body for their personal need and they help him a lot to live his life to the fullest and after meeting them he start living his life to the fullest he starts smoking because goes wants to smoke he start drinking because goes wanted to drink he start eating junk food because goes kid wanted to eat it and he start watching movies and he start flirting with the girls because goes wanted to do it and before meeting does goes he was just a lonely depressed suicidal man who just wants to commit suicide and after meeting then he was happy he had a girlfriend and he had a family of close it is one of the best feel good film from south korea and it's sad to know that marathi industry likely copied this film without giving any right or a credit to the original and they basically marketed this film as a original film and i think it's nice that it not had a proper release and it's not available on some streaming platform because in 2021 you just cannot steal someone's work and sell it as a original film it just disrespect to the artist who created a original film who wrote the original film it's just sad act number 1 we have jayant bhai ki love story jayant bhai ki love story is a remake of a south korean film known as gangster love or my dear desperado and i have to say that it's better than the original because it has a heroic like character really funny and original scenes and really funny written dialogue and they basically copy the theme its plot and its storyline but it's still good because when you do the remake of a film you can copy its character its scenes that character's persona their beliefs their morals you can copy all of those things but your string play your dialogues that's where your originality lies and this movie string play is more funny than the original string play its dialogue its scenes are more funnier than the original and this movie was meant to be for another churchel and they are making that film in india so your character should connect with us and this movie does that really good and most of the scenes of this film has its originality in some way because it has a original joke and most of its dialogue are better than the original and they are more funnier it's sad to know that it is wade obrai's last film in bollywood as a lead and since then he hasn't been a lead in a hindi film for almost 9 years 
and if we don't town is modiji film as a film rather than not and it's sad to know that bollywood has wasted such a talented actor and some of his best years it's just really sad and his version of for gangster is the best version out there it's really funny really relatable one of the biggest reasons why i love this film more than the original is because of him he just really good in this movie and he's really funny and his role also has a realness to it at the same time it's just hard to pull it off sometimes and second reason why i love this film is because of neha sharma she was just really hot in this movie and this south korean film is also been remade in a tamil industry and tamil version is the official one and tamil version has vijay setupathi as a gangster and it's a really good watch I have seen all of those three films and I think V8 version is the best. It doesn't have a high budget action scene like the Tamil one, but I just love V8 Obrai. Let me know which one is your favorite among three. Okay, bye, Mr. GMB signing off. I guess.